welcome to Auto Traders Highlights of the 2012 Paris Motor Show. Lots of shiny new metal to see, which will be in your showrooms the next few months. Let's take a look. Behind me is the Lexus LFCC concept car. If they build it, they'll go up against 3 Series Coupe. That's quite a tall order, and that radiator might put a few people off. So here we are on the BMW stand, where the big story is a surprise concept for the Active Tourer. It's a front-wheel drive BMW. It's still a concept, but if they build it, it'll compete in Mercedes B-Class. So this is the new Clio, which we'll see in the next few months in the UK. As you can see, very pretty little car, informed by some recent concepts. Let's go have a look at the new Mini Paceman. The new Mini Paceman, coupe version of the Countryman. Out next spring, three doors, four seats, starts just under £19,000. This is the new three-door i30 from Hyundai, third member of the i30 family, due out at the end of this year. Good looking thing, isn't it? Every boy racer wants to drive Toyota's new GT86 around the Nürburgring. And now you can do that in Paris, thanks to this driving simulator. This is a new Seat Leon. Out next spring, lots of trim versions, lots of engines. This is the top spec FR. In motor shows, you find a lot of journalists and cameramen taking pictures of the girls in the stands. Come on guys, it's the 21st century. Women are not to be objectified. They're here to take pictures of cars. Get with the program. Oh. See that? Like a golf, because it is a golf. We'll see quite a few of those in the next few years. Behind me is a bit of a surprise in Porsche. The Sport Tourism concept is just a concept at the moment, based on the Panamera. But if the reaction is right from this show, they'll build it. It's a nice looking thing. Come on Porsche, do it. There's a lot of interest in this Audi cross lane concept for two good reasons. First, it gives you an idea what future Audi Q models will look like. The second reason is its engine. A new 1.5 litre three-cylinder engine, which is a hybrid. The headline figures are 256 miles per gallon and 26 grams of CO2. Now that's efficient. And back in the real world, Audi's A3 Sportback, one of the brand's biggest sellers, will be out next spring. Now this is a car. Jaguar's F-Type, a classic British sports car. Out next year, we can't wait to drive it. Two new cars from Kia, the three-door Pro Seat and the seven-seat MPV the Karens. Both beautifully designed, which is what we've come from expecting from Kia in recent years. Almost the end of a very long day, but there's one more car to be unveiled. In about an hour's time, McLaren will unveil something from under that big white pyramid. Paris 2012, see you in Geneva. Right, let's go have some steak free.